Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to curl your own hair with a hair straightener for complete beginners. Remember to subscribe and like this video and let's get into it. So you don't need a fancy expensive straightener to create beautiful curls, but your straightener do need to have a rounded barrel so the hair can glide around it to create the curl. So I have put a pink sticker on the front of the straightener so you can see which side I'm referring to and how it moves around. So the pink side is the front. There are two main ways to hold the straightener when you curl your hair. You can hold it at a slight angle like I'm doing here or horizontal like I'm showing you here. If you hold the hair straightener at a slight angle, you're going to get a nice loose beach curl. And on the other hand, if you hold the hair straightener horizontally, you're going to get a glamorous Hollywood curl. So before doing any kind of heat styling on your hair, you should always use a heat protection to protect your hair. And the one I'm using is the GHD Bodyguard Heat Protection, which smells like an absolute dream. And I highly recommend this one. Oh, and also brush your hair so it's easier to part it into sections. So first I'm going to show you the exact steps on the top of my head so it's easy to see what I'm doing. And also with the straightener unplugged so I can do it slowly and not burn my hair off. So grab a section of hair on the right side and then hold the straightener in your opposite hand. Then place the hair in between the plates with the front of the straightener facing upwards and then place your other hand at the end of the straightener. And don't hold the straightener in a death grip like this. Hold it in a loose grip so it's easy to twist around. So now you have to twist the straightener one full time around. So twist it downwards and then reposition your hands and then keep twisting and keep moving your hands until it has come around one full time. Then take the end of the hair and pull it to the front. So now you have twisted the hair all around the barrel and the front is now upwards again. Then pull the straightener slowly down the hair while holding the straightener horizontally. And when you get to the end, then grab the curl and twist it and that is how you do a curl. For the left side you're going to do the same thing, so grab a new section of hair and then hold the straightener with your opposite hand. Again place the hair in between the plates with the front of the straightener facing upwards. And just like before, hold the straightener with a loose grip so it's easy to twist around. So now you have to twist the straightener one full time around. So twist it downwards and then reposition your hands and then keep twisting and moving your hands until it has come one full time around. Then take the end of the hair and pull it out to the front. So now pull the straightener down the hair slowly while holding the straightener horizontally. When you get to the end, then grab the curl and twist it and that is how you do a curl on the left side. So now I'm going to show you the same thing as before, but this time with the straightener plugged in. So place the hair in the straightener and then twist the straightener one full time around, then pull the end of the hair out to the front and then slide the straightener down the hair. The slower you go down the hair, the tighter the curls will be, and the quicker you go down the hair, the looser the curl will be. So if this curl is too tight for you, then you can quickly run the straightener over the curl like this to loosen it up. And I'm not going to do this on the other side so you can see the difference between the curls. On the left side, you hold the straightener in your right hand, and then place the hair in between the straightener and then twist it one full time and then pull the end to the front and then slide the straightener down the hair. If you have any questions then leave them in a comment down below and I will try my best to help or maybe someone else can because people are very helpful in the comments. And here you can see the difference between the curl I loosened up at first and then the curl I didn't touch. So when I curl my own hair, I part my hair down the back of my head and then I clip one side up with a hair clip so the hair is out of the way. Then I'm sectioning off my hair behind my ear to the back 
and then I'm clipping away the top part of the hair with a hair clip. Then take a small section of hair and place it in the straightener and then twist the straightener one full time around and then pull the end of the hair to the front and then glide the straightener down the hair. When you get to the end, then grab the hair and then twist the curl. And I just flip the curls to the back so they are out of the way. Again, take a small section of hair and then place it in the straightener and then twist the straightener one full time around and then pull the end to the front and glide the straightener down the hair. So if there is a curl that turns out bad or you just don't like the way it looks, then let the curl cool completely down and then recurl it once it's cold. So I split this hair into three sections, but you can do bigger or smaller sections. If you do bigger sections of hair, you will get a looser curl, and if you do smaller sections of hair, you will get a more defined curl. When you have curled all of the hair, then flip the curls to the back so they are out of the way, and then take the top hair down and then section off a new section of hair and then repeat it all again. So I'm just going to speed it up a little bit so we can get to the other side. So for the bangs, I do the same thing because my bangs are long enough, but if you have shorter bangs, then you might need to just bend them quickly with your straightener. So on the left side, you're going to do the same thing as the other side. So section off the hair behind your ear and then clip the top part of the hair away with a hair clip. So on this side, I'm also going to curl this hair into three curls. So take a small section of hair and then place it in the straightener and then twist the straightener one full time around. Then pull the end of the hair to the front and then glide the straightener down the hair. Then when you get to the end of the hair, then grab the curl and twist it. Then flip the curl to the back so it's out of the way and then take a new small section of hair and then place it in the straightener. Then twist the straightener one full time around and then pull the end of the hair to the front and then glide the straightener down the hair. So I'm just going to speed it up once again so we can get to the part where we brush the curls. So now that you're done curling your hair, you're going to brush the curls out and I'm going to just do one side at first so you can see the difference. So if you have fine hair or hair that is hard to curl, then I would recommend just running your fingers through the hair to break the curls up instead of brushing them and then setting the curls with some hairspray. So here you can see the difference between the brushed curls and the other side.
So as you can see, when you brush your curls out, they do drop a bit. So that's why I don't like to loosen up the curls when I'm curling, but I like to wait until I'm done to see how much they have dropped by themselves and how they look after brushing them out. So that is how to curl your own hair with a hair straightener. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.